How many came to give God their best? Hallelujah. We're going to ask you to open up your Bibles. Those of you who know me know that I'm not a long-winded preacher. Hallelujah. In fact, when we were coming up, amen, our, my pastor gave us 15 minutes. And he said, son, you ought to be able to give up some change back. Hallelujah. So I, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be 15 minutes, but I'm going to give you what God placed in my heart. And when God gets finished, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why God's got me there, but somebody needs to really praise God today. God's trying to move in your life, but he said, would you praise me? Somebody said, but it's not all in the praise, but some of it is. My Bible says in the midnight hours, Paul and Silas, when they were shackled up, locked up in an inner prison, they sang praises to God. And suddenly, somebody's waiting on a sudden miracle. Somebody's waiting on a sudden blessing. When suddenly something's about to happen. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that their beds were loose. All because they learned how to praise God. When I was coming up in church, when I was little, some of us, we didn't want to praise God. And we didn't really know how some of us stayed. The older saints used to tell us, fake it till you get there. Yes. What do you mean, preacher? Are you telling me to play with God? No. Uh -huh. But if you open your mouth and just say, thank you, Jesus. If you open your mouth and say hallelujah, I guarantee, hallelujah, you can't call on the Lord and he not talk back to you. You can't, you can't magnify God and something don't happen in the place. Hallelujah. So if you're waiting on something, uh, just a lightning bolt to come down and strike you, it's got to start with you. Uh, you got to open up your mouth. Yeah. You might have faith, but the Bible says faith without works is dead. Uh, there's got to be a demonstration. When it was in on, in on the day of Pentecost, the Bible says they were in one place on one accord. <laughs> but there was a demonstration. Hallelujah. And as they began to praise God, uh, suddenly, there's that word again, suddenly, uh, somebody going to catch hold of it. Uh, uh, suddenly, they heard a sound from heaven uh, as a rushing mighty wind and it filled. Oh, God. I don't know about you, but I remember when I received the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Oh my God, I heard that that rushing mighty wind. It was like a freight train coming down the track. And all I remember is an hour later, I was still speaking in tongues. I wonder if we still can take it back to the old school. But we would just have a, a good old praise meeting until the Holy Ghost fell. Everybody was slain. Hallelujah. When we didn't have AIDS running through the church, when cancer wasn't on the top of the list, when homosexuality if you was homosexual, you was on the down low where everybody came into reverence the word of God. I'm sorry, this is not my church. I don't want to, I don't want to go, I don't want to get out of line and y'all tell the bishop. Not my church. Huh? But I just remember, I remember the old school days. See, I grew up in the old school church, Apostolic Faith Home Assembly, 5300 Adams Boulevard, on the corner of Adams and, and, and Arlington. And I can remember we start praising God at 7 o'clock and look up, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And nobody knew what happened. People still on the floor. People still speaking in tongues. Drunk people walk off the street. And the power of the Holy Ghost filled them up. Prostitutes coming in. Giving their life over to Christ. I wonder if we can go back to a time where we just took time to give God some praise. But, 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 I understand. We say it's 2011 now. We don't take all that. We want a microwave Holy Ghost. 
We want an in and out or a McDonald's kind of Holy Ghost experience. <laughs> where you get to the where you get to the speaker and you order up something to God uh, and expect it ready when you get to the window. Uh, you don't even want to wait when you get to the window. You want it to be ready and done. But God don't work like that. Let me move on. Please forgive me. Hallelujah. Giving honor to the Lord who is the head of my life. Ah, to the pastor, the angel of this house, the presiding prelate of the kingdom power, covenant fellowship of church. You ought to give up some praise. Hallelujah. None other than the honorable bishop, Dr. John Smith. Hallelujah. To the first lady of this house, to the essence and the fragrance of kingdom power. Ah, I've heard the bishop say here. Ah, he's, she's a peach in his peach cobbler. Hallelujah. None other than First Lady Tawana Smith. Come on, give God a prayer. Hallelujah. And to the First Lady of Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries. Hallelujah to my help me to my uh, Hallelujah to my wife. My companion, Evangelist Oprah again. To all the ministers and elders and their wives and mates in their respective places. To all the saints down to the children. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Ain't nothing like being in the house of God. I'm sorry. I just feel at home. So if you just give me a few minutes. Hallelujah. I feel at home. Hallelujah. The Bible says where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm not going to make any more apologies because I feel at home. Hallelujah. And the Spirit will bear witness. So I, if I'm around some Holy Ghost filled people, I ought to feel like I'm at home. Amen. But if you grab your swords and turn to 1 Samuel, the 16th chapter. I'm going to try not to be long. Somebody might have their Sunday dinner still in the oven. Somebody might be waiting to get home and watch the Mavericks in the heat. Well, somebody might be thinking about doing something else and I'm not even going to go there. Uh, but we can get our mind on Jesus and if he can get with me. I'll be quick. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. We're going to read 1 Samuel 16, 1 through 5, and then skip over to verse 11 through 13. When you have it, say amen. amen. If you need more time, say wait on me. I'll give you a minute because I want you to get the word for yourself. Don't take for granted that I know that I know how to read. Hallelujah, get it for yourself. Amen. I think somewhere in the Bible it says, and all you're getting, getting understanding. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Everybody that haven't said amen. Yes. Anybody need more time, say wait on me. Amen. We're all on one accord. And the word of God reads, and the Lord said unto Samuel, how long... Uh, Wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him um, from reign over Israel? Fill thy horn with oil and go. <laughs> Somebody say go. go. I will send thee to Jesse, uh, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king, uh, a king among his sons. And Samuel said, how can I go? If, if Saul hear, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take a heifer with thee. And say, I am.